uh, with our tip of the week today is uh, how to create a design board for interior presentations. Uh, one of the things that we find often for interior designers, um, and I've worked with a number of during my course of work as an architect, and that is that we, we often um, want to create design boards that show materials, that show renderings, that show uh, finishes and, uh, and how those will work with different um, pieces of furniture and, and, and furnishings within the project. And so this is a very good example of some from some different uh, clients uh, where, you know, a uh, more traditional way of doing a finish board where you are simply putting together different uh, materials and the different types of furnishings for a project to kind of create a, a synergy of, of what you're trying to get across as a design idea. So how we would do that in, in the sort of digital land here uh, in, traditionally has been to use something like InDesign or Apple's Pages as basically just a traditional page layout program, right? <clears throat> Where we create a design board of a certain shape, size. Uh, we start to drag on some different images, um, some different materials as just, again, also digital materials and perhaps maybe uh, uh, in some cases uh, either a rendering from a program like SketchUp that maybe we're using or uh, maybe even sketch renderings that we've done, taken a picture of and then brought in. And in any case, we're just using it as a page layout program. Now, what ArchiCAD allows us to do is to actually do the same, create the same effect but now to bring together the page layout program with the idea of a design board that we might have done you know, manually in the past and also our 3D views that we can create and then place onto these boards. And this is a really good example where you know, here we have uh, two different design boards with different renderings on it, um, different 3D views, uh, different uh, kind of images and, and um, materials that are to give a certain um, idea and concept for the design that we're um, implying for or that we're suggesting for a space that we're working with on a client. And so this is what we could do within ArchiCAD's framework rather than using different programs or doing it manually. So how do we do that? Well, first off, we create a layout. Now, if you've not done this before in ArchiCAD, uh, ArchiCAD's layout, uh, uh, page layout program is, or component is part of our navigator where we have our um, uh, save views right here to the left and there's the left of that is an overview of the project and then so if we create the, the layout book we can then create different design board options and on those design boards we can begin to then add the materials we can begin to add um, views and really what's nice about this these views can be live so as I'm working in ArchiCAD um, this view right here could be updating uh, dynamically. Uh, and as long as they're coming from my 3D window as, as views, this would be updating. If it's an actual rendered view, then I would save that rendered view, place it on here, uh, and then it's linked. And so this is you know, a, a really great way to start to create and put together this, this design board. The other nice thing about it is that I can customize this to have my specific information for my, my um, uh, firm, right? So not only with logos and, and, and what you would expect for sort of a title block, but also with intelligent information, uh, such as your project name, uh, your address, your site, um, you know, what um, uh, order is it on the project and have it relate back to other information. So all that information can be updated. So this becomes a reflective of your uh, specific context of your firm. And then as we, we have all that kind of um, placed on in terms of the way we want our title block or we want you know this look and feel for our particular um, firm, we can just simply start to add on external drawings. So we can go into our, our file menu, go down to external content, place external drawing, and we can begin to place on very quickly uh, you know, different um, uh, images that we may have brought in from different sources. We, can use it by placing external drawing, which is copy and paste as well, right into here. Uh, and then, of course, we can link in um, different views uh, of our project for our floor plans, 
um, and uh, other elements within ARCHICAD that we may be working on as design items. So it's a really fast way that we can begin to bring in images, text, renderings, plans, and other content to create that design board that we need as part of our interior design process.